Hi, I did another video before where I uh, demoed the ca uh, Chinese character input uh, using the finger and I realized that um, it's actually not very easy to, it's not straightforward to configure and set up so I'm going to do it from scratch now. So I'm going to go into my Google Play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Google Chinese input. So you see I already searched for it. Um, so if you search for Google Chinese input, you're going to have a couple of choices. Uh, and all of these apps are from Google. So I'm going to choose Google Cantonese input. And even though it says Cantonese input, um, it's actually good for, you know, Mandarin, Taiwanese. Um, and it has the uh, phonetic uh, keyboard, uh, the finger keyboard where you draw it. And um, also um, kind of like the character uh, headers. Uh, so you choose those and then it shows you more characters with the same type of um, uh, kind of uh, root. So, um, so I chose Google Cantonese input and I'm going to click install here. Accept. And... Uh, as I mentioned before, this is uh, it has four different type of keyboards, but the one where most people are interested in is the one where you use your finger and you draw the characters, and then it gives you matching characters that you choose from. Um, so right now it's installing, um, and it's downloaded about seven megs out of the eleven megabytes. So it is about eleven megabytes, and it's installing. And uh, I'm doing this video because I didn't. When I showed it to other people, they still had trouble installing it. So I'm going to do it from scratch here, uh, where I do it step by step. So uh, that is set up, and I'm going to click open. And you'll notice it'll, the first thing it does is it prompt me. I, I, I want the white screen, so I'm just going to choose the white screen here. And I'm going to click next. And here... Um, it's just showing you a preview. I'm going to click next again. And here's where it gets kind of tricky. Uh, you do have to enable it. So when I click that, I'm going to have to enable it here by checking the Google Chinese input. And I'm going to click OK. And I am going to go back. And I have to do the second step where I actually select the input. And I'm going to select the one at the top here. Otherwise, um, I still would be restricted to my normal uh, keyboard that I have. So it's done here. I'm going to say start. The other thing I'm going to do is when I go to handwriting setting I'm gonna select handwriting speed and I'm gonna say slow it, it says here mid slow so that's the one I'm gonna choose so I'm gonna go out um, and I'm gonna choose a, a pad here so so you see now it's configured for the keyboard and what I have here is a couple choices so if I choose Jung here uh, that this still is a typing type of keyboard. So what I want to do is select it again. And you'll see there's four different type of keyboards. I'm going to choose the one here. So let me zoom in here. So you see there's four different type of keyboards after you do that. And again, to, to select it, so normally uh, it'll default to this keyboard and you could toggle back and forth between English and Chinese but what what you have to do to choose the finger uh, drawing keyboard is you have to press it one more time and click that one at the bottom and now um, uh, for example if I type that you, you'll see or uh, let me type the very few Chinese characters I know you'll see I didn't type it well but it does show up right there um, so there you go that that's how you do it um, now I, I do want to go over other settings for example 
if if you get to the point where you you actually uh, got out of the settings so what you have to do is you have to go in to your settings menu here so I have my settings you go to language and in whoops uh, language and input and once again you'll you'll see that I can check and uncheck that so for example if I unchecked it uh, by mistake now if if I go back to my keyboard you'll you'll see it's back to the normal English keyboard and if I go back in and activate it again you'll see language and input you choose that one the Google Cantonese and again it's not Cantonese it's um you know just any Chinese characters so now if I go back here you'll see it's not activated even though I chose it so here's where it gets kinda of tricky if, if you get it into the state uh, what you want to do is you want to go back in here um, and do the default keyboard you see that? Um, so let me zoom in there again. You see here it says the default keyboard is the English Google keyboard. I have to choose that up there. And now once I get out of this and I go back to my typing, you'll see it's back to this screen. And once again, I could choose my keyboards. Um, and let me demo these keyboards here so I I think this is the phonetic one and this is the one where you choose the the root which um, uh, you know how, how the characters initially look like and then it gives you a bunch of other choices you know that type of thing um, this is um, I'm not too sure what this is so I won't even try to explain it uh, but the one that's most important is this one and again, um, I'm, I'm just typing anything because I'm my my Chinese is really bad, very bad. Okay, all right. So I hope that helps in you actually going through a step by step and configuring your Chinese input. And uh, you know, if you fall into a state where you lose your settings, uh, that's how you would activate it again. Um, okay, thank you for watching and I hope it helps.